Hello, and welcome to an audio reading of My Encounter with Sasquatch. I'm Tintin. I'm Nancy Drew. I'm Hardy Boy number one. <laughs> and I'm Hardy Boy two. As you can tell, we have not we have not read the Hardy Boys, so they'll just be going as Hardy Boy one and two. So, one, this book is a complete masterpiece. It's available for $3 on Amazon. I highly suggest you all go buy it. Read along with us if you'd like. And, um, this is rec being recorded post audio because Nancy Drew here is completely dark on this. Um, her reaction is just hysterical. We want one person and just a fantastic video. So thank you for watching. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. <laughs> Chapter one, the field. It was just past dawn as I was hiking a trail in the Rockies. A bright cloudless sky above filled with the sound of birds. I come to a clearing and decide to rest for a few minutes. My sports bra adjusted and backpack removed. I stare out into the opening at the magnificent view. In the distance, I see a tree shake and birds fly. The forest is alive around me. It is then that I hear a sound I had never heard. A bizarre howl, not a coyote, not a wolf, something bigger. My eyes focus on the shaking tree as I see a dark shape beneath it. A large animal moves, and I grab my camera. Could this be it? Could it be a grizzly? After three years hiking this trail, I'd never seen a bear. I zoom in as the animal stands on its hind legs. I've never seen a bear like this. It stood nine feet tall, almost human-like, its brown fur shining in the sun as it howls again. This is not a bear, is it? No, it can't be. This is a Sasquatch, a Bigfoot, not a hundred and fifty feet from me. I snap a picture after picture of the beast. It does not seem to know I'm here as it moves around its trees. Oh my god, I say in awe of the beast, the creature snaps his head in my direction. Oh no, he heard me and howls again. I quickly attempt to get my backpack on as I look back in his direction. He's gone. No one is going to believe this, I say to myself as I prepare to leave again. That's when I hear it. A branch snaps behind me. As I begin to turn, I hear a growl. A deep, angry growl. There he stands, nine feet tall, hair everywhere, <coughs> staring at me. A hungry look in his eyes. I tr I'm trembling with fear as he stares. He doesn't appear to be moving, simply standing there breathing heavily and staring. Then I notice it, subtle at first. Then it got bigger and bigger. The beast has something moving between its legs. His shaft <laughs> growing, growing larger and larger. Its girth at least six inches wide. It's astonishing as it continues to grow. It's so big, I can't keep myself from staring. The beast begins to drool as its eyes move over my body. Its hairy, erect penis now has now grown to two feet long, six inches thick. It is pointing straight at me. I slowly try to back away when he pounces. The creature jumps at me, knocking me to the ground. I attempt to knock him off me, but am not able. I feel his claws scratch at my back as the pain shoots through my back. I feel my sports bra snap as it flings off my chest. The beast has me half naked as I feel his hands on my body. He drools and makes a moaning sound. I turn my head to the side, hoping to see what the beast is about to do. He leans his face into mine and licks me. Fearing death. I begin to panic. I struggle. I attempt to scream, although muffled by the beast on top of me. Resistance is futile. His hands are all over me, and then I feel it. I feel something on my leg, something moving, something I can't even describe. My shorts rip. I feel extreme pain as he forces his enormous penis inside of me. It's so big, it's too big. The beast appears to smirk at my pain as I scream. I'M BEING FUCKED BY BIGFOOT! 
Jeff Lord. Yeah. No. The six inch wide penis size <laughs> inside me. I only had sex with two men before, a beginner in many ways. The beast looks me in the eye, seeing my pain, smiling. I feel his hairy hands on my breast as he continues to slowly pump his penis inside me. I feel it tearing me apart. It is way too big. I let out a painful scream, and the creature pulls out. It looks me in the eyes as it wraps one powerful hand around my throat. It begins to squeeze as it thrusts its cock deep inside me. I, I feel my lungs start to burn. I prepare for death. The beast unclenches my throat, allowing just enough air to keep me alive. Perhaps the beast does not want me dead. Great read. Pain rolls through my body with every thrust of the beast, even if just the tip of the creature is entering my body. There is no way I can do this much longer. <laughs> I beg the creature, please, please don't do this. Please stop. I can't take the pain. The creature has a confused look on its face as if it understands. I feel his penis pull out as the creature continues its confused look. I sigh with relief as I am not being torn in half by his cock, at least for the moment. Maybe it's over. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> Flip page. That's a lot of maybe. <laughs> maybe, maybe. I lost the page. Oh you lost the page? <laughs> Damn it. Find it yet? You're at maybe, maybe? Uh, power maybe. video editing. Right? <laughs> yeah. Um, I don't know. I might want to leave this in. Ah, there it is. Maybe. Maybe it's over. Still a lot of maybe. Maybe I got through to him. The creature smirks again and swings his cock at my face. It's <laughs> striking me hard. <laughs> Blackness. All right, so... That was chapter one. That was chapter one of uh, My Encounter with Sasquatch, an erotic novel. Um, By? Christine B. Pines. Christine B. Pines. Christine B. Pines. What a great man. Right. Um, this is available for a digital download on Amazon. Don't pitch it. I got exactly it. Exactly what we're doing. Dude, this what? book is incredible. We are making this guy famous. Oh, oh my God. God. Like, yes, I really want him to, like, do a video with him, but... So it's it's three dollars on Amazon. It'll be the best three dollars you have ever spent in your life. It's I fantastic. It. You no, will no, no. feel free to download it, buy it, and uh, read along with us. Oh with yes, these videos. <laughs> because uh, nothing more better than just read along. You That's know? right. That's what this book club is all about. Yes. All right. So uh, reactions. Let's start with um, Nancy Drew. Now Nancy Drew didn't even know the title of this book until I just said it. She's uh. I did not appreciate being left in the dark. We needed that this. for the reaction. I That's know, right. but I still did not appreciate it because I did not expect that kind of thing. What kind of a thing? I did not. I. I you have to specify. I There's no way you end a lot on this show. <laughs> I don't want to specify. It was um, very interesting. I'm gonna have to say with I um, go with I didn't enjoy it. You didn't enjoy it? No, it's you, not my pleasure. Do you think there's a, a way for that to turn around? Um, what kind of an aspect would you need this book to uh, add in? Oh, feminism. <laughs> <laughs> All the way. Well, Nancy Drew, that is exactly why you why we brought you in. I'm so morning. glad. She's, she's our feminist expert. Um, Party Boy 2 here is our uh, literary expert. Indeed, I am. It's what so, I do. Um, now, they say Fifty Shades of Grey started as a bad Twilight fanfiction. I'm did. wondering, did this book start as a bad Fifty Shades of Grey Fan fiction. Uh, I, I'm gonna have to say no because this book is more cleverly written and better written than Fifty Shades of Grey. Yes. So many different ways. You heard it here, folk. You heard it here first, folks. This is gonna supersede Fifty Shades of Grey. Let's hope we can get a movie of this. <laughs> oh, I wish park. we could get a movie. Hopefully, of in this. the near future. Even if we have to film it ourselves, we might have to pull this off. <laughs> Drinking water, asshole. <laughs> You're welcome. Spit take all over your computer. <laughs> Party Boy 1, what's your take on this? No, I'm Encyclopedia Brown. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> I, I'm the cousin. <laughs> oh, you're going with Encyclopedia Brown? Okay. <laughs> okay, Hardy Boy 1. Hardy Boy we 1. We didn't really discuss names, actually. <laughs> I thought we were going with, uh, the name of the channel is, um, Two Hardy Boys. Hardy Boys do, do Nancy, Nancy Drew. Drew. <laughs> while Tintin watches, and I'm Tintin. Well, you, I don't know. I was... 
the Tintin was like, you know, agreed upon. But you're Hardy Boy One. You're Hardy Boy One. Okay. Um, don't even actually know their freaking names. <laughs> we'll find out later. That's the best part of this show, folks. We don't even know who the hell we are. No. Who are you? Are? She's Nancy Drew. Slash Lola. Yeah, that's Slash right. Lola. Slash Lola. 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 Um, Hardy Boy One's having a good time. Well, I mean, I was kind of left in the dark. I mean, got a, like a basic gist of the book, and I knew uh, Nancy Drew slash Viola would not like it at all. So, um, so you might say you just got the tip of it. Oh my <laughs> god! <laughs> I am I am convinced that uh, Nancy Drew slash Lola will come around to this book as a, <coughs> as the relationship progresses throughout the novel. I'm going to appreciate the innuendic vocabulary that's going to be said throughout this entire discussion. Oh man. <laughs> I'm waiting for us to be banned from everything else on YouTube. Oh, they can't ban us. No, they can't ban us from YouTube so long as we put an 18 plus rating on it. Really? Yep. All right. All right. Um, we're not showing anything. We're just talking. Oh, and by the way, the uh, the cover for this book is just hilarious. Oh, it's so fantastic. Let's let's put that in at the beginning. Oh, we will. We're gonna have it throughout a good portion of it. All right. So uh, tune in for the next video where we read chapter two, the cave.